Yes, at Cedars we have an MDRN collaboration committee and during one of those meetings we were discussing how to ambulate our patients more and how to promote that. We noticed that there was a research study done on another unit using Fitbit trackers to promote ambulation and surgical patients, so we said, why not us? And we work together with our BMT doctors and our nurses so that our patients can also use Fitbit trackers while they're in the hospital to track all their ambulation and encourage more walking. Post-transplant uh, ambulation is so important because fitness is so important. Our study found that our patients lost an average of 24% of their mobility during their admission. And we know that anything we can do to mitigate that is going to help them recover and improve their quality of life. One of the things we found so surprising was just how universally our patients all a decreased in their mobility function. It was just this generalized 24% decrease across the board, um, whether they were in our control portion or they were in our um, treatment portion. Uh, and we just saw this dramatic drop in their steps once we hit around transplant day five when the pancytopenia really kicks in. So it just really demonstrated just how severe these symptoms are and how they affect our patients. Um, we also saw that our intervention, even though the gains were mostly between days one and five, um, we did actually see that every time uh, our intervention where patients could actually see their progress of daily step counts, when it was accessed, they would increase their steps, 137 steps a day, which we could see that it was making a difference. Um, so we think that if we can make this intervention work, like we could really help our patients. I think our oncology nurses are asked to do more with less every day. Um, we know what our patients need, but then we get hit with the reality of what we actually have. And if we can use technology to help us, I think we really should. Um, and our study definitely suggests that you know, using activity monitors can potentially you know, help our patients. The biggest thing is that our patients really need good symptom management control. So just like all of our patients, their daily step counts dropped right at day plus five. Um, it just shows how much we have to go forward in terms of getting our symptoms under control. Um, and we also think that using something like an activity tracker could really encourage them. So we think that this could be part of the education and part of that incentive.